fighting, never losing, robbing, fucking whores and boozing. Take the women, burn the village. Drink, oh. annihilate and pillage. So burn. Fucking weather, fucking tents, fucking camp. I've had enough of this shit. It's your typical Saturday night here in Bohemia. Well, it has been a few weeks since we've had an episode come out of Kingdom Come Deliverance, but I um, wanted to get a few episodes recorded today if I could. I'm actually on vacation this week, but I've, my wife has decided to make me a huge list of things to do, and I did not really have time to do a whole lot of uh, Kingdom Come and a few other things, you know, projects I'm working on. I have been playing a lot of Skyrim lately. I can't help it. I, I, I get sucked into it, and... Uh, like 300 hours in on that game anyway. Off the subject, breaking the immersion. You know, so anyway. If you remember in the last episode, we were here at this camp. I can't even remember whose camp it is. Um, let's see if I can kind of... I should I guess I should have done this before, actually. Ooh, look how pretty we are. Before I actually started. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I believe... Oh, oh, right, right. Sir, we're looking for... Um, Uh, Capen's family necklace. That's what we're doing. So, it's a DLC quest. I, I remember now. So, we found this bandit camp out here. We've got to beat this guy in dice. Uh, we tried last time. Almost did, but he whooped our ass. And, um, and I think it's like a tournament. Apologies, Sir Bandit. I think it's like a tournament that we have to, uh, that we have to beat. So, anyway, let's go ahead and talk to him. I don't know if it's going to cost us money every time we talk to him or not. I hope not. But we'll see. I want to play dice. I want to play dice. Who will be my opponent? Maybe this time you'll fare better. You'll play Berta. What He's a shit. man, but they call him that for some reason. Damned if I know why. So we lost last time, like I said. So I guess it gives us someone different every time. And it looks like we don't have to pay to play every game. The first one, I believe, cost us... Uh, I believe it cost us like six or nine hundred groschen. It was quite a bit. So we've got um I think the best way of doing this I'm so hungry. would be to get like uh instead of picking random die. I need to I need to actually read up on some of these. Uh, item info, let's see, a blessed playing die con consecrated to the Holy Trinity in the hope of if hope of falling on three. So that might that falls on three a lot apparently. Um, so if we pick this one, if we pick one of these, oh shoot, did I pick two of them? I'm not sure, I might have. Uh, then we pick a, um, an odd die. They could also, there's seven, actually, you know, shrinking playing die. One of the few properly loaded die loaded in favor of its holder. Unpopular, sometimes the dice fall well, sometimes not. This one probably not. Okay, well that one we're gonna use. Playing die loaded in favor of odd numbers. This is what we need to play with. All these odd die. So that would be uh, or or all evens. But I think all odds would probably be our best bet, right? I got a piss. Well, piss, dude. So let's grab all odd die and just see how this goes. So if it lands all on ones, that'd be great. Or all on fives, you know, we might have a better chance here, so. Let's see, okay, so, uh, confirm. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna right. get soaked. Well, we got three fives what here and a one. Do we? Let's see, we'll take that one, uh, that one, that one, that one. That's 500, can we take the one, two, the 600, nice. And we'll just, um... Can't take the three or the two, right? No. One, two, three. Yeah, let's do this. And then we'll um, score. Uh, no, we're not going to roll again. We'll score and pass. So 600 right off the bat. That's not too bad. And I just happen to think, I believe my buddy Aaron was telling me, giving me an advice on playing this. but And I had completely forgot. I need to go back and read that comment and see exactly what he said. Uh, threes. That's 300, a 5, and a 1. Another 450. The 6 we can't do, so score and pass. This is actually working out pretty good so oh, far. Fucking sick head. Can't drink no more today. 
Okay, he's gonna score low again. <clears throat> Oh, you're gonna bust, dude. Yes! That's what we need. We want him to bust. We're not taking no chances in this game. So we got uh, three threes again. So see, it's coming up with pretty much the same numbers every time. So this is working out really good. Yeah. I'm gonna get some. Another 450. What else is there to do here? I do wonder in this game originally. Oh wow, 1200, nice. That's a heck of a round for him. In this game originally, were you allowed to bring special die? I wonder. 1000. Uh, should we score it? Let's let's play it safe. Let's just score and and pass. <clears throat> Dang, these, these guys are hard. Uh, we got, let's see, one, two, three. This does nothing. Got uh, two ones, two threes, which also does nothing. Two ones is 200. We got one, two, three, that's 300, plus a one, that's 400, plus another one, that's 500, plus a two, no. We'll take 500. So up to 3,750 points ahead of this fella. He's got a whole bunch of ones. Since these, these die gener generally fall on odd numbers, I would love to get like a full house here, but it's not going to happen probably. Um, it's probably a lot easier to say if we pick one. I got two fives here though. Comp life sure ain't easy. Fuck. Let's do that and let's, let's score and roll again. We've got three left. We got a good potential of getting something here. We got a, another two, another four. We got a one. That's one hundred. Killing, um, fighting, never losing, robbing, fucking oh, whores and losing. <laughs> Good Take lord. The women burn the village, drink an ayah, legs and pillage. These guys. Burning, yeah, let's go ahead and take this other one and it'll be done. How sweet it is, a robber's life. Filth and stink everywhere. Should have stayed home. Four hundred, that's not bad. And we kind of gambled on that one a little bit. Dang, three ones is a thousand. That's crazy. Uh, one, Fucking two, three, Fucking four. Oh, that's Fucking a five. Count. Dang. I didn't know for this shit. Oh man, if we could, uh, if we could hold these and roll again and get a four. Hmm. I don't know how that works, and I don't want to screw it up. Well, let's go. One, three, just so we just do one, I guess. There's two fives. We could do the fives. That's 200. Uh, score and roll again. Got another one and a five. And I guess we'll uh, score and pass and just take on 350 right there. Oh, that's a, that was a lot of points for him. Oh, he's got put him up to 4,000. Dang it, he's leading. Well, he got 1,000 back right here. Actually, got 1,100 back here. I think it's all going to depend on whose turn it's going to be towards the end. Because we're kind of leapfrogging each other as far as who's leading. Well, that's good. That worked out in our favor. Uh, let's go one, two. Roll again. I want to try something. Yeah, here we go. More ones. That's good. 
Okay, so it doesn't actually... It doesn't actually... I was hoping that those two ones here on the left, if I held them and got these two ones here, it would be over a thousand points, but it's not. It's how many points you have in, a, in, in one roll, apparently. So we'll take that. Um, actually... Yeah, we'll take we'll take that one and we'll we'll score and and pass. I'm so hungry. Both and stink everywhere. Should have stayed home. So that's what he's doing. He's taking like one and then he'll he'll pass on a lot of the other stuff and re-roll. I guess he's passing hoping he gets uh Rivers of blood and a bloody flood. Well how do you do that? Do you not just take everything? All right, hopefully this will, yep, this will win us the game right here. Awesome. One, two, three thousand. Game one. Nice. That worked out. All right, now what do we do? We may not even have to play that guy on us. Pachuma? Is that we got to talk to or this guy over here? Let's go over here again, I think. Sir Earhart, Old Blaha. Parlay with Sir Earhart. Okay. Rivers of blood. Golly, have mercy. Blood. I just want to eat blood. and sleep. Sir Earhart. Who's, <laughs> who is Sir Earhart? Oh, the controls are so weird feeling after playing so much other games. Noggin. Who's Noggin? Can I ask you something? Can I ask something? Oh, ask away. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? They call me Noggin. I'm Sir Earhart's vassal. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Likewise. Sir? What are you all doing here? Why are you hiding out here? We're not hiding. We're just... Well, couldn't you rest from your profession just as well in Sasau? What's Sasso got that we don't have here? I mean, he's got a point. Have you been outside the camp? Have you been out of the camp recently? Maybe down by the river? Why would I? We've got an outhouse here. <laughs> what about the others? Why would they? There's water here, game in the woods, supplies enough. What else could a man want? All right, we'll see you later. That's all I need to know. So we're trying to find out who murdered someone, I think. Um, let's talk to this fellow, Berta. Can I ask you something? Can I ask you something? Ask away. Tell me about yourself. Tell me something about yourself. Why do you want to know? You want to spread the word about what a good dice player I am? Yeah, I was just curious. You know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. But if you must know, they call me Berta. And I'm Sir Erhardt's right-hand man. Berta? <laughs> ah, you heard of me, have you? The scourge of Vlashim. No man who fell the edge of my axe lived to tell the tale. Okay, so why are you here? And why are you hiding out here? I wouldn't call it hiding. We're just having a bit of a rest. From what? Things were getting a bit too hot for us. Nobody bothers us here, just as long as we don't show our faces in Sasa. Do you, uh, do you leave camp? Don't you leave the camp at all? What are you trying to say? That we're shitting ourselves here? I didn't mean that at all. No, no. I was just wondering if you knew what's going on around these parts. We come across hunters now and then, or pilgrims on a the road. There are charcoal burners nearby. Sometimes they pass the time of day with us. But we've got no course to cross the river. That's too close to Sasa. Hmm. So it sounds like that, um, I don't think we need to talk about another question. It almost sounds like that these guys aren't going down there. Oh, dude, shut up with the song. Can I ask you something? Can I have a word with you? What do you want? I want you to put on some clothes that don't look like a dress. Tell me about yourself. What's your story? You don't look like one of them at all. 
I ain't true enough. I'm a local. I don't go raiding with them. When they're here, I just look out for them, bring them supplies and that. And what do you do when they're not here? Whatever's needed. But being the go-between for them that set up the ambushes pays well. And you don't have to risk your neck for it. Why would somebody help out people who pillage and kill people for fun and, and rape and murder and stuff like that? Tell me about the camp. Can you tell me something about the camp here? This place? It's been here as long as I can remember. I used to come here as a youngster to play with my mates. Anyway, one time I had to lie low for a bit, so I came here and ran into these gentlemen, who pay good coin when you bring them some wine and a bit of grub. Why did you have to disappear? Ah, uh, nothing terrible. Just that I was courting this one girl, only her old man and her brothers didn't take to me. Besides which, she was promised to some rich merchant. Once they had her married off, they forgot about me, though. Hmm. Another time. I'll leave you to it. Uh, just, Another just to make sure that something else doesn't actually do pop want? up. Uh, no, it does not. I'll leave you to it. Okay. Um, let's talk to this fellow over here. Meladata. Can I ask you something? Can I ask you something? Fuck. Ask away. Anything to pass the time. Tell me about yourself. You're my daughter, right? I am. Why'd you ask? Just curious. This is quite an interesting retreat you men have here. You could put it that way. I ain't been here long, though. I helped them out of a tight spot and they took me with them. I'd love to hear about it. Is that right? How did that happen? Well, I was lying in wait for this wagoner see. Because he'd been mouthing off about me, so I figured I'd take all he had for compensation. Anyway, I'm hiding there in the bushes, and I hear this wagon coming. So I jumped out to ambush him. Only it wasn't that wagoner, but some merchant. Hmm. As soon as he saw me with my weapon drawn, he started screaming yeah. bloody murder. And next thing, his armed escort here? comes charging up, and I was the one ambushed. The injustice of it. Interesting. Mm. Vexing indeed. Aye. Anyway. They caught me and took me with them. They figured I was Sir Earhart's spy, and they wanted me to lead them to him. Of course, I told them I didn't know what the fuck they were on about. So, while they were threatening to break me on the wheel, string me up and what have you, along comes the Baron with his merry band, and they lay into the soldiers and send them running for the hills. And ever since then, I've been riding with them. That is quite an entertaining anecdote. Ain't it just? If it hadn't been for me, the fellows would have run straight into a trap and it'd all be up with them. So, it's on account of me, they're still alive. Tell me about yourself. You're my daughter, right? I am. Why'd you ask? Just curious. What a shit this is quite an interesting good scratch, retreat Jimmy. you men have here. You could put it that way. I ain't been here long, though. I helped them out of a tight spot and they took me with them. I don't have time to listen to... No, uh, I don't have time to listen just now. You must tell me all about it some other time. If you like. Yeah, you've already told me about it, but okay. Do you ever leave the camp? And how are things here? Do you get away much? We ain't allowed to leave. So I've been here the whole time. I don't mind, though. There's always something to pass the time. And we've got that wench. Okay. You only got one? That's between all. all of you guys? I haven't even seen her yet, but, uh, we got some people out here. Oh, there she is, right there. Let's talk to her. Where'd she go? Killing, fighting, Camp Wench. What a life this has got to be. Is it always like this here? What's going on here, anyway? It all seems a little odd. Haven't you ever been in the camp of a merry band of robbers? Never quite this merry, to tell the truth. They've got their loot, and now they want some fun. Booze, dice, and women. I'm the only girl here. They're more interested in dice, anyway. And boozing. And they're no fun at all. Well, they seem very fond of their dice, all right. Aye. They always play the same way. Every player bets his most valuable piece of loot. And the winner takes all. It ends in a fight most times. Although, it's a long time since anyone got killed over it. Hmm. I'd better watch my step then. You do that, handsome. 
It'd be a shame to spoil that pretty face. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess somebody's taking a fancy to old Henry here. All right, well, let's, um... Gosh. Don't want to, I'll be. Fucking boring. I guess... It's telling me to do, uh... I'm almost sober. <clears throat> it's telling me to... See, uh, which one I will find out who killed Sir Alpons, take part in the dice tournament, which I already have, be third opponent, did that. Parlay with Sir Air Earhart. Where's Sir Earhart? He's not here somewhere. He must be in this tent. I bet he is. And it's locked, so we can't actually get in there. So how do we get in there to him, to parlay with him? Uh, well, let's challenge this guy. Noggin. You cheated, I challenge you. I blink it was an option. Yes. You cheated. I challenge you to a duel. What? Are you fucking serious? Yes. Let's see what happens here. This is here for a reason. I assume that um that this has something to do with getting hey, And I'm I'm way out of practice, so who's there? Oh crap, I'm way out of practice. Probably gonna lose, by the way. These guys are, I'm sure are way more advanced in fighting than I am. Yep, yep. What's that? Ah! Oh, there we go. Fucker. Let's just do it, do our old, our old fashioned way. Lock up with him and hit. And then try to break it and then smack him in the head. There we go, we got him. Uh, have him pay to be released. Continue combat. Hmm. Have him pay to be released. Pay up, and I'll let you go. What's to be done? Well, he gave us some money, but we didn't get the guy out there. Okay, well that's fine. Hey, who's there? Hey. What? How do I get this guy? Hey. So I didn't talk to everybody I need to talk to, right? Who are you? Who are you? Well, I could play die with one of these guys again. I want to play dice. I won't put you guys through this. My opponent. They fell your way last time, and no mistake. You'll play against Maladita. Oh, leave me be. Well, we lost against that guy, but just barely. So I'm going to go see if I can figure out how to get in here. I wonder if I can attack this guy. Oh, this guy's up now. Good. Let's see. Oh, he's asleep. Let's talk with him. Sir Earhart, I presume? The blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ upon you, Baron Belovets. I'm honored to make your acquaintance. <laughs> the pleasure is mine, sir. We haven't had any interesting visitors here for a long time, and I'm keen to hear what news you bring. And then there's the matter of our trade. Indeed, we certainly have much to discuss, sir. Good. And how was your journey, Sir Alphonse? Long and somewhat fatiguing, truth be told. Ah, would you rather put off our talks until later? No, no, no. Uh, I think we'll talk now, actually. Let's get straight down to business. No, no. I shall be glad to deal with our business right away, but I'd rather tell you the latest news later. Very well. If you wish to skip the pleasantries, let's get down to business. From what I've heard, you have some proposal for me that would involve departing from Vlashim? Yes, essentially. 
We need to divert attention elsewhere. Uh. Hmm. Brenshov. To Benishov. Benishov. I know Benishov well. That could be done. And who are we to devote our attention to? Uh, merchants. Merchant wagons. <laughs> of course. How better to put the fear of God in the townsmen than to relieve them of their silver? Do you want us to conduct our business on any particular road? Um... I don't know. The road to Slaney. The road to Slaney? What? Through Prague? Hmm. That's true, actually. And what's in it for us? If terrorizing folk is what you want, there might not be much profit in it. Good lord, do I need to pay this guy the stuff? Uh, well, six... six thousand groschen. Would six thousand groschen suit you? That's not enough. Make it nine at least. Okay. Very well. You shall have nine thousand groschen. And that's everything? I can offer you something else too, let's see what he says. I can also offer you a safe hideout, if you should have need of it. That's always useful to have somewhere to lie low. Where is it? In Binshov. Actually, it's saying Slaney. In Slaney. Could be handy, all right. It is a long way from here. That's all acceptable. I agree, then. Now we've settled our business, you can go and rest. We'll talk later when you feel up to it. Thank you, Sir Earhart. Okay, well, that was interesting. I'm not sure what that was really for. Who is this? Camp Winch? Yep, Camp Winch. I want to get in this chest right here. I wonder if anybody can see me. He's, he's, he's going to sleep, so let's try it. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Easy enough. I'll take be taking that Groshen, taking that lockpick. Ooh, nice sword, I'll take that. That's actually also pretty nice. We gotta hurry up and get done with this chest. Silver ring I'll take, silver goblet I'll take. Okay, good. What you guys got in here? Anything? Nothing, okay. So, I guess I have to uh, win these dice tournaments to actually get this thing back. Is that's what I'm figuring. And, uh, most of these guys are asleep, so. Trespassing into what? Hey. There's an underground thing here. That's fascinating. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I, I didn't mean to, uh. Can, can I help you? Just let him leave. We're gonna go investigate this place. What is under here? A very fascinating area. I guess if we really wanted, we could sneak in here or sneak out of here. That's that's interesting. Well, hopefully we don't get in trouble coming back through here. I thought maybe there might be a treasure chest in here, but it doesn't look like it. What's back here? There's a door here. And a treasure chest. And they're running. Uh, I could kill him. Get going. Okay, alright. There's a treasure chest back here that we need to get into at some point. Well, I, need, I guess we need to sleep and wait for this guy to wake up. And then uh, 
when he does, we'll have to play dice again. I think we got to win against everyone. That's kind of the kind of the idea, I think. So, so let's go ahead and find us a place to sleep, and I'll see if I can beat these other few guys and die. I reckon they just all sleep during the day. Oh, wait, what, was I sleeping in someone else's bed? I guess, I guess so. I don't want to sign up with attorney, thank you. Where is a bed that I can actually sleep in that's not being used? There's another chest. Oh, there's actually a lot of people here. Wow. A lot more here than I thought. Oh, man. It's so hard actually being able to sleep. hard to find a bed that you're allowed to sleep in. So there's got to be a place somewhere. I'm looking for it to pop up and say sleep and save. What was that? Who is this? Just a regular bandit. Okay, he's getting up good. Um, can you stop so I can talk to you, sir? Alright, that's going to be a chest that has all our clothes in it. I guess we have to wait for him to sit down. I'm going to get him something to eat. Come on, man, talk to me here. There we go. I want to play die. I want to play dice. Who will be my opponent? You'll have to wait a while. Really? Okay. Let's go sleep in his bed then. Until dusk. It's not going to let us again. God dang it, man. I hate trying to find somewhere to sleep in this game. I get it's true to life and all that. You can't be serious sleeping in other people's beds. Well, where am I supposed to sleep? You know? About, can I sleep in this guy's bed? I might. I assume I'm his lead. Nope. <laughs> I'm not sure what. Get the hell out! All right. Hey. Is this guy still back here? Nope, he ain't. Let's uh, let's go ahead and just look in here real fast. Oh, oh, he's fighting us. Pull oh, your sword out, Henry. I would beat the crap out of that dude. Serial killer as achievement I got. Oh crap, they're they're coming. Oh, all of them's coming. Uh oh. We may have made a mistake here. Oh, we've made a mistake. We have made a mistake. <laughs> oh, we've made a big mistake. Oh, we're bleeding. Yep, we're about to die. Oh, jeez. Um, bad idea. Well, we killed one of them. <laughs> oh, man. That did not work out well for us. I'm not sure where we're going to continue. It may be back at the very beginning. I hope not. Oh, I think it was. No, I've lost all that. All that. 
progress. I want to play dice. I want to play dice. Who will be my opponent? They fell your way last time, and no mistake. Then there's Pekuna. He's a local fellow who brings stuff for us. He put up a nice necklace as his wager. Oh, look here. <clears throat> this guy's got a necklace. So he maybe he must be the one that that did it. Well, we had we've got good luck. I've been having to replay it all obviously because I screwed up and died. <laughs> and uh, so I beat the last two in a row. So this should be the final one. We're gonna we've been picking odd die, all odd die, and it's been working great for me because I get a lot of ones and a lot of fives. So uh, we're gonna pick those again and see what happens this time. I'll let you guys watch this particular. Uh, game. We done really good last time. Um, where we had two rounds where we got all the die and got to do another round. So we basically do it like this. Uh, and then I'll just score and roll these two again. And uh, yeah, so, so we got two fives right there. So we got that and we can score and roll a whole new hand. So this works out really good when it goes like this because we can get a massive lead on these guys. Um, and then we can just keep on doing it this way and hopefully we can roll we can't roll again this time so we got a four we can't use a four so we'll get these right here and then we'll just score that so that's 800 points 800 points right off the right off the bat this guy's got all kinds of different ones so we'll just see how it goes with him I, i've noticed that if you mix them like that you get tons of different kinds that generally don't go quite as well at least for me it doesn't look like it does for them either they pick like they get a lot of ones um but ones at the same time that don't draw as much points you have to have a lot of ones in a single hand this is actually a really fun game i uh i might see if i can write the rules down and and try to start playing it with my kids some so here we go we got a good hand here look at all these ones one two three four that's going 2,000 points right off the bat and a five that's 2050 we'll just go ahead and get that and score with it i don't want to i don't want to bust on that so already up to 2850 points and he's only got 300 this is working out pretty well for us so far and he busted nice we got a one bunch of threes and a five we can use all those what I would like to do is not use this five oh, Lord, mercy, shut up uh, we're not using the five we'll leave two die on the table we'll score and roll again Hopefully get two fives or two ones. We got one five, it looks like. So we'll use that one five. Uh, we get these points back, and then we'll go ahead and oops, excuse me, go ahead and uh, score and, and pass. Hopefully we win this game and get this necklace, and then uh, I'll have to parlay with uh, that fellow again. Go through all that dialogue and um, get Sir Hans' necklace back. Hopefully. And see what happens after that. There's probably going to be a big battle in Sue, maybe, at some point. Who knows? And he busted again. Man, we are just on a roll in this game. This guy sucks. You suck, dude. Um, we can do this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Nope, can't do the threes. Uh, let's leave. Let's get rid of that one. Oh, shoot. There was another one there. I didn't see that. That's fine. I didn't know for this shit. Three twos. Can we do three twos? I guess we can. Yeah, we can. Can we do a four? Nope. Um, we'll take 400 and go with it. What a, shitty pig. I need a, good a good hand for him. 750. He's still far, far behind us, though. Uh, looks like a, not a real good hand for us. We'll take the one and roll again. This looks a little, little better here. Lots of threes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a good hand. Let's go and roll again. So up to 600, roll again. So this should, this may, this might win us the game. We got three ones right here. Two, Fucking three, weather. and a Fucking five. Fucking uh, we'll get rid of the five. For this shit. Score and roll again. I would not want to bust on this hand. Take that one, take that five, Kelly. and we'll score. 5450. I'm getting better at it. It helps a lot when you have uh, have all the same type of die. Uh, 
This should win us. Well, maybe win us. Let's see. Uh, one, two. Can't. Nope. Can't use two threes. Score and roll again. Oh, yep. Won the game right here. Very nice. Awesome. Give me that necklace, dude. Find out who won the tournament. Well, it was me. Have I won? How did I do? Have I won? Actually, nobody won. You and Pakuna have the same score. So you'll have to play one more game to decide the Bull big... Bullcrap. Let's play. Well, let's play then. That's BS, man. I know good and well my score is way higher than his. Unless he just whooped. Because I've whooped all three of the guys. Tails. Whatever. I'll play him again. He sucked the first time. I'll see you guys uh, after I whoop his tail. Whip that ass. Oh, dang it. It's daylight. Now this guy's going to sleep. Crap. All right. Okay, well, we'll have to wait and talk to him when he wakes up, I guess. Well, we beat the little, the little fella. Let's go ahead and go in here and talk to this guy. Like I said, I won't put you guys through this again. All right, so we parlayed with Sir Earhart. Got that done again. I'm not going to worry about what's in the chest. I would like to have that sword, but it is what it is. I got to find a place to rest. And I have no clue where to go. Um, I guess I could just wait, but I'm going to try to find a place to sleep again. And uh, I will see you guys back whenever I'm woke up, I guess. Okay, finally found a place to sleep outside camp here. We can actually sleep and we saved. So now this guy should be up. Let's go see if we can get our necklace. Why must he keep showing up here? Have I won? How did I do? Have I won? Well now, Sir oh, Alphonse, you took them all by storm. Here's the key to the prize. Nice. Thank you kindly. Uh, where is the actual trunk? Is this it over here? Pick up the wings from the die tournament. Oh, it's, I guess it's back there in the back. So that's where the, uh, it looks like, uh, the fella we knew. I guess it's back here, and this is why we couldn't trespass earlier. Or why we couldn't come back here earlier, because we were trespassing. The prize is in this trunk. Very good. Look at that, that's a nice 3.2 grand. Nice necklace. We'll take that, Groshen. Master Huntsman's sword, don't need that. All this other stuff's kind of crap. We'll take that just because it don't weigh much. And Capon, Capon's family necklace. Awesome. Give the necklace back to Sar Hans Capon. And down here, I think this is just like an escape tunnel. We, we went through that a minute ago. So no need to do that again. Alright. Alright, bitches. Oh, man. I gotta go. See you guys. Have a great one. Where's, uh, where's Elmer when you need him? Elmer, where are you, buddy? There you are. Beautiful. You are a beautiful horse. Hold still while I mount you. And we're off. I can't remember how to run. <laughs> I can't remember how to run. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the actual path at? See, I think that one guy that we took the necklace yeah. from is who killed the uh, the guy on the side of the road. I'm pretty sure. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, look. Oh. 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 
Oh. Oh, slide. Oh, God, heaven help me. Oh, goodness. Whew. Wow. That was a long slide. Oh, ah, my head. Oh, goodness. Oh, take me to the hospital. Take me to the healer, Am Elmer. Take me to the healer. Oh, let's not do that again. That was a long fall. Ugh. Oh, my head. Oh, my arm. Everything. Oh. Okay. I think we're okay. Yeah. Where's Sir Hans? I don't even know where Sir Hans is at. Oh, we've got the thicket. Oh, we can't get to the thicket. Where exactly is Sir Hans? He's nowhere near us, obviously. Okay, we're back here at Ratai. Let's go ahead and see if we can find Sir Hans. He's up in here somewhere. Excuse me, madam. Pardon, well, I said, excuse me, pardon me. You didn't get out of the way. He serves you right. I'm on official business. Excuse me, sir. Apologies. He's already up at the other castle now, isn't he? Yeah, he's actually, it looks like he's at a bar. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Yeah, he's up here drinking at the tavern. All right, Elmer, you stay right here. There he is, Sir Hans. Good news, Sir Hans. The Lord be praised. Oh, your face. What brings you to me? Very, very untextured. I got your necklace. I've got that necklace. Excellent news. I'm not going to ask you how you did it. Here's a reward for you. Now you can carry on with your next task. Thing. I want you to sneak the jewelry into Carolina's trunk along with this letter. Can't I just hand them to her? You cannot. Under no circumstances must she find out who sent them. Otherwise the whole secret admirer ploy is fucked. Oh, oh, and by the way, Henry, watch out for the butcher. He keeps a very close eye on his daughter, and if he catches you sniffing around, well, may all the saints preserve you. Once you've delivered the things, wait a day, and then come back and see me. Good luck, then. Okay, well, I'm going to end this episode right here because it's ran quite long. And uh, when we come back, we will do just what he asked us to. I, man, I wish I could have found out who killed uh, Sir Alphonse. We, we know who did it. We just, um, I just lost that. I just lost that, uh, that information whenever I got killed. And then I forgot to talk to the guy again. So, we know who did it. It was the guy with the mustache, I believe. Um, uh, I can't remember what his name was. Started with an M. But anyway, uh, just, uh, he doesn't know who done it. But that's fine. That's fine. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, and telling your friends it helps me out a ton. And I will see you guys in the next one when we slip this letter into Milady's box. See you guys later on. Have a good day. Bye-bye.